was it the greenhouse area, right? Yeah, where it's like one floor will be green, then green slash yeah. blue, then yeah. blue, then yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it, I think you just well, I don't want to say we. Yeah, you can do. just kind of eyeball that stuff. Yeah, the yeah. witness. Unless your eyeballs don't work. <laughs> Whoa. Is that where the problem is in the eyeballs, right? Uh, the rods and yeah, cones rods are not and rods and cones. properly sensitive. Something like that. Is yeah. that the Yeah. That's the issue. Yes. So, well, there's there's multiple layers of issues okay. uh, when it comes to that sort of stuff. But it, what is For yours? me anyway. What is yours? I don't see red particularly strongly. Okay. Or as strongly as other people do, I, I think is the case. I actually noticed that a lot when we were doing the uh, division. The division was like the the second uh, with the witness, it was the second time I've noticed it. It, it, like normally, it's not an issue, but with the division, with you their surrounded in a bright red circle, yes, indicating that there's says a there's grenade. a grenade about to go oh, off, yeah, and yeah. I don't see that super well, uh, which tactically is bad. Last week, uh, not a great week to try to play video games. <laughs> as it turns out, while, yeah, while as it turns out, my two favorite video games both uh, huh. uh, uh, screw me over on in that sense. I, I suppose, isn't it? It's a it's a, a two pronged. It's it's like a red green thing, right? Don't, so don't most people have like two colors. It, that are kind of associated with each other. I am no expert. So mm. with with me, so uh, it wasn't until I, I bought a pair of Enchroma glasses, which are glasses that are supposed to kind of correct for correct. this sort of stuff. And you, you correct cool. it based on you taking a color test. Uh, and the thing that it's kind of I've realized is that these glasses will kind of play up red. Uh, and they're sunglasses, so you can't really wear them indoors. So they're kind of useless for me. Sure. And you uh, can wear them indoors. Oh. Well, yeah, you yeah. can wear no anything stop indoors. Uh, no, it's just because they darken the image so much, it's like actually not... Oh, it's really? not great indoors. Huh. Uh, they have since come out with glasses that are not sunglasses, but I'm not going to spend another $700 or whatever it was on a second Jesus. pair of that these things. That seems high. 700 Look for a pair of tinted sunglasses. I have been unable to see colors uh, the right way my entire life. So sure. at some point, like the, uh, the idea that I could give them any amount of money yeah. to try to do something uh, about it and just to know uh was worth it yeah. so I, I don't regret that purchase even though i've really only worn them twice i'm surprised nobody's come up with well, maybe they have like a like a some kind of screen filtering solution kind of like you know how flux will change the color temperature yeah. at night for sleep well it's it's color blindness is so individualized yeah, I guess so. that it's yeah i mean you probably could solve for it by having people just say what color do you see here what color do you see here but it's it's a collection of things um what what game have you played that has had the most uh, that's been the most affected by this um, I mean, as, as of late, it's The Witness. Or period. I mean, is there but, any one game that had like a critical element that you just could not see? There was an iOS puzzle game that huh. uh, that I absolutely could not play uh, huh. because of the, their their use of colors. It was uh, like a combo base. I forget what it was called. But. How about Super Puzzle Fighter? So Puzzle just, Fighter oh, actually, yes, the yellow and green ones look very similar okay. to me. So there's there's additional factors to this. Like there, there's the. Uh, I'm still trying to come to terms with the best way to explain this sort of stuff. And, and the witness and the division have kind of brought it back up uh, in a way uh, that, that has me kind of doing this again a little bit. But it's it's more than just your eyes inability to see the colors the right way or, or that that affects things in different ways. Like if colors are right next to each other, I can usually tell that they are different. And sure. in Puzzle Fighter, I don't need to know that one's yellow and one's green. I just need to know that they're different. Right. So when they're next to each other, I can tell when they're on when one's on the far left side of the pit and one's on the far right. I can't tell, especially separated by a bunch of other colors. Yeah, yeah. I can't really tell. Um, so, but that actually has worked to my benefit in Puzzle Fighter because it just means I set up a bunch of yellow and green combos <laughs> sure. inadvertently. <laughs> huh, sure. So it, it, it has not, I mean, sure, you know, I'm sure if I ascended to some kind of pro level esports Puzzle Fighter league that at some point I would get chewed up. Um, but at the level that I tend to play at, it, it makes me an unpredictable <laughs> savage, uh, that just can straight up murder people. You never know what's going to happen. Exactly. Huh. So... So that's a, a weird, a weird, yeah, a, that's a weird benefit, I guess. Um, with the witness, it's hard because the witness is built around you not knowing what you don't know. So it's this element of like, well, this is probably a color puzzle, yeah. but I don't actually. It's hard for me to fill in the gaps right. on this. Um, yeah, so much of so much of figuring out figuring out your way through that game is is process of elimination and like solving for variables and right. just like saying, okay, well, I know this and this, so what does that tell me about that? And so that that gets compounded a little bit by not necessarily knowing the depths of the color puzzles themselves. As it turns out, they're not that you know no. they're totally doable for me, hmm. uh, it, with like a, one or two exceptions. I know I was in one point and I, I kind of asked you like, hey, what? What is this color? The, basically, I'd ask, is this color the same as this color? Because they look almost identical to me. And they, I, I can tell that they might be different, but I don't know for sure. 
Uh, so those are the sorts of questions I had to ask. You know, I'd ask, you know, kind of like, hey, what's uh, is this is this same color as this? It's like, no, one is white and one is blue. And I'm like, well, fuck. Was this in the greenhouse? Because yeah. it's kind of hard. Uh, you know, I'm not colorblind. It was still hard for me to tell. Like that looks slightly like grayish, and that looks white. So. Yeah. So that 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 only compounds it. If if it's actually hard for people that can see color normally, at some point, that's like, okay, well, I don't. Is it supposed to be like that right, or not? Right. Like so, the psychological layers that get thrown into that when you can't trust your own eyes uh, are what makes that stuff difficult. The the fact that I don't see red as strongly as some others barely is a factor in in the puzzles as they're constructed it's really just a matter of like okay i, I don't know if i'm seeing this right i don't know if other people are seeing this right and then yeah i've had plenty of other people say like oh actually i had trouble with that one too and i see color fine it's like okay well what does that mean like i still can't tell right. um what that even means what does any of it mean exactly who uh, could say who could say but uh yes so that was confounding for about you know seven minutes or so uh, the actual the 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 bummer that that did is once I had kind of looked up uh, a solution to one puzzle, like there's the, the concern that that just kind of opens the dam and, and yeah. then you're just going to cheat. And <laughs> You've broken the seal. Yeah. So yeah, basically, basically like now I'm like, yourself. you know, now, now that I've finished the game and, and yeah. now I'm like, I want to do the other thing. And now oh, fuck that other thing. There's like this thing? temptation to just fuck that other thing. Other thing? There's other things. Th there's you don't have all the trophies, right? Yeah. I mean, there's, there's I'm playing on Steam, so there's like two. Okay, there is, yeah. but there is. Okay, well, there's one Actually, you'll get and one that's yeah. that you won't. One, one, of, one of, for beating the game. One right? of the two achievements in the Steam version is the thing that we're talking about, and that's not uh, just like hey, do it with eleven lasers. No, no, the game. It, is, no. it is pretty deeply buried. Yeah, it's I mean, really, it's not anyway. Yeah. It's huh. it's. So, so the the colorblindness thing ends up being a psychological thing as well, where uh, because I have lived a life not trusting my eyes, uh, it becomes this thing of like, well, I don't really think about color, period. Mm, sure. Um, so when asked to think about color, it actually takes a lot of focus, a whole lot of time staring at this stuff to try to just go like, okay, let's really break it down. What can I see? What what's What am I looking at here? So when I bought those in chroma glasses, that was the other time that, that I did that because I put them on and it's not like something like, oh, okay. Like my brain literally doesn't know how to fucking process any of that stuff. So it's like I, I'm putting the glasses on and then it's this learning process of looking at stuff and you're like, is that really a color issue? Like, yeah. Yeah. Because I, 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 I would get like frustrated. Like you know, if, if I got hung up on a certain puzzle thinking, what the hell am I doing wrong? Maybe it's a colorblind thing, but it's not really. Yeah. That would be rough. But for me, it was like I put on those glasses and, you know, was like doing the commute. I wasn't driving at the time. This was a while ago. Um, and stuff like taxi cabs looked completely different hmm. in a way that's so like orange, as it turns out, is my favorite color. And when I put those glasses on, yellow things looked more like <laughs> orange looks huh. to me normally. It was sort of a weird thing of like, oh, maybe yellow ain't so bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's – and, and like, the, the difference between uh, traffic lights and stuff like that is actually a lot different. Uh, you know, I can see the three colors of a traffic light just fine. It's it's not an issue. Plus, they're positional, so. Yes. Yeah. Um, but, like, with the glasses on, it was a very – it was a, a much more dramatic difference. Like, a lot of green lights look rel almost white to me mm. huh. because of the, the how bright they can get. Okay. Uh, at some point, the brightness will wash out the, the color. And in, in a – similarly, in a dark situation – uh, or even when uh, like a red is next to a black or something like that, like or surrounded like a, a you know in, in a dark environment, I will almost never see the red at all. It'll just be black. Mm. Um, and so like determining colors in low light situations where other people seem to not have trouble is actually super hard for me, regardless of the color. Uh, but I think some of that is just because I haven't done it a lot because it's one of those things that just like you know early on you learn like okay, well I, my eyes don't do the right thing uh, for this stuff, so you just kind of shut it off. Uh, so the witness in a weird way forced me to turn it back on, uh, which is fucking hard to make you think about things yeah. that you're not used to thinking about. Yeah, exactly. Huh. And, and wearing those glasses actually did the same thing. It was like, you know, and wearing the glasses was the first time that I was able to look like, Oh weird. This sweater I have is the sweatshirt. I have is purple. Cause like purple and blue look almost identical right. to me uh, Cause, or cause depending on the shade. Cause you, know? you can't see the red in the purple. Exactly. It basically subtracts it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like, and what the fuck have I been wearing all this? Yeah. Oh God. And, but I, I, but I like purple even more than I did before. Perfect. Like seeing, seeing <laughs> what is supposedly real purple. I'm like, fucking yeah. Yeah. Prince is all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, the guy was on to something. And, but like, that's something I can tell like the societally, you know, it's like, there's, there's this weird thing of like, why, I, like, I don't understand why, why there's like this weird, like at the time it seemed like people didn't like purple and it seemed like purple is kind of a weird color. 
uh, according to society. I think man. purple's awesome. I've I think, always, I think I've purple's always awesome, too. Purple. Oh, my God. I'll fucking, I would wear purple pants right now. I don't give a fuck. Grimace, I, Grimace I, is cool. Yeah, he is. I had a purple trench coat when I was like 12. It was fucking red. What? I got made fun of so bad. Man, they, I want to see pictures. Call you Grimace? <laughs> it was a silk purple trench what? coat. Silk? <laughs> For a 12-year-old? <laughs> it was fucking amazing. Were you like, a pimp at 12? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Did you have a fucking hat to match? I wanted a hat. Do you have a goldfish living in your heel? Yeah. What color was the goldfish? Did you dye it purple we to match? Purple. Oh, man. Wow, man. Purple goldfish. Yeah. That doesn't even make sense. Yeah, that's uh, genetic engineering at its finest. So, I, yeah, it's, 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 it's a weird – there are layers to this stuff, it's, it, and it's a lot more than just like, oh, I don't see red real good. Right. Uh, it's a lifetime of, of seeing things that way, and yeah. then the minute you kind of take that away, whether it's through glasses or just like really focusing um, – I can see better than I give myself credit for most of the time, but it's just I don't since I don't trust it. It's it's hard to go with it yeah. a lot. Uh, and then you put on the glasses and you're like, well, what if the red that I see is different than the red that exactly. you see? Yeah. Exactly, like, Whoa, it's far out, bro. Exactly, yeah. but like green and brown look pretty much the same to me too. Mm. So yeah. is this lawn dead? Fucking, I don't know. Yeah. I was kind of surprised. Like, on the one hand, I was surprised, and then also not at all uh, about the amount of criticism that game was getting over the color-based puzzles. Because, like, on the one hand, yes, like that is a fairly significant portion of that game. I mean, well, it's you know, it's it isn't. It if, isn't. I mean, if you want to get technical about it, it's like an eleventh of the game. Are you talking specifically about the kind of like swamp area with the greenhouses and? Uh, well, I mean, there are like just in, in terms of just like there are color puzzles. I guess the color the color puzzles yeah. do pop up in a few other places. It's but there's that one section specifically. It's primarily in the greenhouse, or that's yeah, where right. you learn about it. And then you it know, was they, the greenhouse area was the part that I had trouble yeah. with. There's color stuff like later on that was not an issue. Really, because of, later because of because of the way it's used. Oh right, okay. So do you mean um, the elevator specifically in the greenhouse? Is that what the the main? I, I don't I don't I don't know that we want to talk specifically. Yeah, about okay. the stuff okay. he's talking about is pretty stuff, but, pretty late game. Um, oh really? Uh, okay, but. But I mean, you know, there's there's color stuff in the bunker area. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, like you know, on the one hand, obviously it is like it is tremendously disappointing for people who can't see that stuff to not be able to effectively play a pretty large portion of the game. But on the other hand, yeah. like color is such a fundamental concept to build well puzzles it, around. If you look at the witness, it's really like, and I'd be curious to know like how with the order in which things happened when the witness was developed. Because it really, you know, it's variations on a theme. It's it's how many different ways can this kind of line puzzle be presented and tweaked and twisted and and contorted in all these different ways to you know to fill out not only eleven areas but then to kind of culminate. Uh, so it's only natural that color would play a role there. I mean, it, it plays a role very early on in the game. It's just the colors happen to be black and white. Right. Um, it's only later on that it, you know that it becomes. Uh, you know, a little more serious than, than that. And then, you know, like uh, audio is the kind of the, the same thing, you know, naturally you would try to riff on all of the different senses, uh, as many different senses as possible when it comes to kind of constructing these areas and figuring out different ways to approach these puzzles. So I look at it and go like, well, of course you would do that. Uh, and, and yeah, so I think it's frustrating for people that are having issues with those two, those two seem like the two, uh, you know, it's it's an accessibility thing at some point. Like the game doesn't necessarily have an alternative because that's the very nature of those things to kind of offer the option around it. At some point, you, you're nullifying. You know, you might as well just have a button that says unlock all. The, you know, finish these puzzles. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, to to get around a lot of that stuff. So with with the color area, I was able to go like, hey, tell me about this stuff that I know I can't see right, and able to kind of puzzle my way through it. Uh, as a result, uh, because the logic is still there. You tell me that's green, I can go, okay, and right. then write down, like, okay, green, green, white, Yeah, white. Once, once you have yeah. the information, you can reason your way through the actual yes, puzzle. Yes, the, the yeah. reasoning was never the problem. Yeah. And that actually, in, in some ways, would probably make it more frustrating for some people, is, like, you know exactly what you need to do, your eyes just won't let you do it. And if you just don't happen to have somebody there with you who right. can see yes. those colors to, to help you yeah. out. And yeah. and the the response, I know Kotaku dug into this a little bit last week, and, and the response from from Jonathan Blow, the creator of the game, one of the creators of the game um, was that hey you don't need to complete every area to finish the game which is which is which is both true in a true technical sense and, and also like also like a disappointing response to me because that's a again that's a pretty, the game the game is good enough that you will want to finish yeah all yes of those that's things, that's what it is want to you will want to see it as far through yeah. as you can not, or at least that that's where I'm at with yeah it. absolutely not only um, is it a sizable chunk of the game but yeah like I I very quickly made up my mind to do everything I could conceivably do in that yeah, game. yeah so to have potentially one or two areas that suddenly you're just like well guess that's that yeah uh 
will at some point also inhibit your progress. Yeah. Uh, so that's frustrating. Um, but at the same time, you know, yeah, I, I think, you know, it's, it's, it's still a, an amazing game. I still I, yeah. really do enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Not, uh, not to, not to just build an entire second week's show around <laughs> the witness, but.